Hi, kindergartners. I was looking at some puzzles here that uh, have some sounding out skills with them to help us become better readers. And I thought that you wouldn't mind practicing some of these with me right now. I thought we could sound out the, the words and then we'd blend them together. And we would know what they'd say. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, look, see all these puzzles here? Look at them, they're all over the place. You know, this reminds me of those puzzles we did the other day. I remember seeing Hunter's, and I think it was Kylie showed me hers too, with the short I in the middle. Well, these aren't all short I words. These are all kinds of words. All right, let's start with this one right here. You see that one right up front there? All right, before we've put the letters together to form a word, let's say the names of the letters, ready? We've got G, U, and M. Yep, these are all lowercase. Now let's go ahead and sound them out. Ready? G, uh, M. Mm. Did you already figure it out? All right, let's put it together and let's blend it. Gum, gum. Did you hear the word? All right, what was the word? Um, let's see, Benjamin C? Yes, it was gum, good, and see it matches the picture, so I know that makes sense. Let's go ahead and do another one. All right, let's do this one. Okay, we've got the letters G, P, and I. Now, if I sound them out like this, G, P, I, it doesn't make sense, does it? Now, if I go like this, it almost makes sense, g -ip. Audrey, doesn't that sound like your last name? Yeah, you're right. You would have another P at the end of yours. But look, at that doesn't go together. We know we're not trying to do Audrey's name. We don't have enough letters, so we have to rearrange some. Let's do a switcheroo here. Aha, this is starting to look like something to me. All right, let's blend it. p i g Blend it just a little bit more. All right, Martin, did you hear a word? P -i -g. Pig, very good. And again, it matches our picture, so I know it makes sense. All right, we'll move that over into our box. Let's take a look at this one. Look at this one is upside down, so it looks like it's the letter P, but it's not supposed to be P, it's supposed to be a D, good job. Oh, and look at, talk about letters that look alike. There's the letter B. Mm -hmm. They look the same, but remember the B has the stick, or we say the bat, and then the ball. Mm -hmm. And D has the donut, yeah, and then the bar. Okay, let's get that vowel in the middle. All right, B, E, D. Ready? B, E, D. Bad. Very good. You know what? When I think of this word, I remember my little sister used to have this word on her bed at home because the B and the, the D were very confusing to her. And we talked about how it looked like a bed right here. If the B faced in, B, E, D. And that helped her remember that. And that can help us remember it too. All right, let's take a look at this one. Oh, and look at it. It's already in, in order. Let's say the letters. Same with me or after me. W, I, N. Good. Alec, can you tell me what sound this one makes? Very good. W, W. Kaden, how about if you do the middle? I, I. Good. That's our letter this week. And let's see. Uh, Mason, why don't you wrap it up? N. All right. Let's not do it so Clunky, let's kind of blend it. W in. What does it say, Jackson? Win. Good job, you got it. If we change this to an O, then it'll be one, like we won. Yep, but we could say it felt good for them to win the game. These are going kind of fast. We're going to get a lot of these done today. All right, let's see. Let's say these letters. P. M, A, P, M, A. Ugh, nope. That doesn't sound like anything. Oh, 
Well, these don't go together, but this sounds like something. Pam. Do any of you know a girl named Pam? Yeah, that's a girl's name, but it didn't fit. But now look at this. We're going to have a picture that matches a word. So let's sound it out. Mm app. What is that? All right, Aubrielle. Map. Good job. The map, like when we talked about Christopher Columbus, we saw that map that he followed. Well, he didn't follow one to the New World, but he made maps, right? And he could follow them to different places and show people where he was going and try different things out. All right. Oh, this reminds me of our reading story today. Look at that. Yeah, it's right with our theme. Ready? B. U. G. That's right. If you say it after me, it gets in your brain better and it sticks. And then you have it memorized. All right, now let's memorize the sounds. B. A. G. Now let's blend the sounds. Bug. Bug. Yeah, what did you hear, Nick? Bug. Very good. That's a good one. Does anyone know a word that rhymes with bug? Lillian, what do you know? Snug. Yeah, have you ever heard of the saying, snug is a bug in the rug? Yeah, that's kind of a fun saying. All right, this reminds me of that math lesson the other day. All right, repeat after me. H E N. Now let's make the sounds. <sighs> eh. N. Okay, we'll blend it together. Hen. Hen. Good. The hen. Set on the nest. They both have a short e, but they don't rhyme because they don't have the same ending. But if I said Ben, do you like the hen? Ben and hen rhyme. Yeah, they sure do. All right, let's take a look at this one. I like practicing you short u because it just doesn't seem like we do it very often. All right, let's say the letters S U. N, S, A, N. Yep, now we're going to put them together and blend them. S, A, N. Okay, what did you hear? Okay, Rylan, sun. Very good. Now, this isn't the sun like you are your mother's sun. This is sun like the sun shine. Sun, yes, yes, sun and shine. That makes a compound word. But if I say sun and fun, those would rhyme. I want some fun in the sun. How about you, Logan? I know, you and I always talk about that, don't we? All right, here comes another one. We've got T. Yep, say it after me. Say T. Good. O. P. Good, now let's make the sounds. T. A. P. All right, Brooklyn, we're going to blend this one together. You ready? T. A. Oh, you did it before me, Brooklyn. You were so fast. Brooklyn said, top. Good, this is a spinning top. Mm-hmm. All right, here comes another one. Oh, this one's a tricky one. Yes, it sure is. We've got, what do you mean? Yeah, I know it's cute, but it doesn't mean that it's not tricky just because it's a cute picture. All right, let's do the letters first. Ready? D, O, G. Good job. Now let's make the sounds. D. Listen. Aw. Huh? When we see an O by itself, we don't say aw, do we? But if that O is next to a G, guess what? It does make an aw sound. So we can't think of our normal short O sound here. We just remember it's part of a word family that goes og, og. And then we go d, og. Yes, you're right. It rhymes with hog, log, bog, sog. Yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason when the O is next to the G, its sound gets weird. All right, well, we'll just remember it, and then we won't get tricked. Dog. Good job. Okay, let's do... Ooh, this is a cool picture. All right, let's repeat the letters. J, E, T, J. Et. Jet. Let's see if we're right. Does it match? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty cool jet. I like that. Can I get a jet? Yeah. 
Get and Jet Brine. All right, and let's look at our last one. Here we go. B U S. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna make the sounds. B A uh. Put them together. Here we go. B Us. Bus, good. Like the wheels on the bus go round and round. Very good. Yep, it will pick us up. The bus and us. Yep, they do rhyme. Okay, boys and girls. Well, hey, you did a very nice job of helping me sound, make the sound those letters make. And then we put the letters together in a specific order to make a word. Yep, words are made up of letters, but they have to be in the correct order. They can't just be any letters and make a real word. It could be nonsense and it doesn't mean anything bad. All right, well, boys and girls, let's do a little bit more practice now with our letter of the week, the letter I, okay? You're going to have a printing practice. You can start at the top, go straight down. Then you have a horizontal line at the top and the bottom, good. Now when you do the lower case, it's going to be much shorter. It's going to start at the middle. Yep, so you start at the middle, make a straight line down, and then a dot. Yep, you have to pick up your pencil or your writing utensil to make the, the dot. That's the only way to work. Okay, take your time. Remember, it's not a race. Yes, please do write your name at the top, good. Okay, and then we have another hidden letter. All right, which one will it be? All right, well, it looks like it's going to be a, I'm not going to tell you. You have to do the work to find out. If you see a capital I, I want you to color it blue. So capital I's are blue on this page. If you see a lowercase I, you should color it pink. Yeah, you should have a pink crayon in your box if you look. If you don't, you could use that magenta. Remember, it's kind of a reddish pink. Or if you don't have one at all, for sure, you could use a red. Most of us have a red. Okay? Yeah, but try to do pink. You have it. Or at least the magenta. All right, boys and girls, thank you for helping me sound, make sounds with letters today. Put the sounds together to make a word. And now it's time for you to get some practice done with the letter I. All right, just do your best.